Very good day to Madam Asli Namili as well as all the students who are watching this video. Today, I'll be presenting on my experience of practicum at IPD Kubang Basu. I started my practicum at IPD Kubang Basu on the 15th of February 2021. I was attached to the Crime and Investigation Unit of IPD Kubang Basu. I first learned the step-by-step -step processing of different criminal offence cases. Reported criminal offences are recorded into logbooks with a call number which is unique for each reported case. This is mainly used for the filing up of the criminal offences that had been committed according to the year of the commission. The mainstream subject of my learning for this time was on the investigation process conducted by the investigation officers or known as IOs. This is generally categorized into various categories such as file lima tahun, yang arif timbalan pendakwa raya (YATPR), investigating officer or assistant investigating officer (IO or AIO), and kas untuk simpanan (KUS), which is to ensure the stage of the investigation a case has reached so far. For example, KUS case files are specifically collected and stored with special importance, as they would be reinvestigated once an accused related to the case has been arrested. The general procedures that circulate a crime investigation are mainly the reporting of an offence, filing of a report, investigation by an I.O., on-site visit by an I.O., arrest of the accused, recording of statements from the accused and witnesses, seizing of articles related to the crime, followed by medical report or exhibits depending on the type of case. I got to see the first-hand post-mortem samples of a deceased and also obtain knowledge on statutory rape cases. Even if a minor consented, it will be considered as a rape. DNA tests are conducted to determine the traces of semen on items used as well as examining tests to the hymen or rectum of the victim. Before the practicum, I did not have the knowledge regarding the process of investigation that takes place after lodging a report. However, now I have a clear picture in mind on how an investigation is carried out after a crime is accepted for further investigation. The responsibility that each and every I.O. portray gives me the confidence that the legal system in Malaysia is effective in combating crime as quick as possible. I also feel eager to gain more qualities and values needed in a lawyer when I witness the transparency and honesty shown in each criminal case investigation by not just one, but all the police officers. For example, the I.O.s transparently inform the complainant regularly on the progress of the case as well as show them the DNA samples or results personally. I would like to apply the sincerity that they portray as I have learned that justice is equal for every citizen of nation. As for my thoughts, firstly I believe that the manpower at the Crime and Investigation Unit's clerk board is not adequate. Manpower has to be increased to increase the rate of job completion effectively. Moreover, the organisation of investigation papers are also quite messy and irregular. To address this issue, I would like to suggest an additional online software to the existing police report statement where all the case files are able to be maintained online and any information needed can be obtained through this system without the need for any manual search. Apart from this, the mechanisms here are very inspiring and perfectly composed. The skills and values of a legal practitioner that I had learned was firstly, I had to come out of the box and break the barrier of being an introvert. There was a need to communicate with various offices and learn on how to conduct a proper communication in a polite manner. This effectively improved my communication skills, which is important for a lawyer to possess. Secondly, I was given many opportunities to put my analytical skills to test by the queries placed forward by the IOs at IPD Kupamasu. The IOs frequently gave me a new crime reported to be analysed and questioned me on the legal provisions that had to be used in order to tackle the relevant case. This effectively improved my analytical skills which a lawyer has to master. Thirdly, I was able to obtain perseverance by my on-site supervisor where I was given with various tasks to be completed within the office hours. For example, I had to register all case files into specific logbooks, record them to dispatch book, stamp and deliver them to the respective officers as per the stage it has reached within a duration of two hours. 
This effectively helped me to learn perseverance in dealing with all those tasks and completing them efficiently which is essential for a lawyer. Fourthly, I also improved my writing skills on the side of formal writing as my own site supervisor trained me to type formal letters and emails to be sent to the government institution such as Yayasan Bantuan Guaman Kedah and IPD Bukit Aman. The writing skills were effectively improved which is important in future for legal opinion writing and legal document drafting purposes. Last but not least, I gained an important quality of not denying justice to any person who comes seeking it genuinely. The motto that justice delayed is justice denied was gained this quality which gives me the aim to become a lawyer who delivers justice to victimized individuals by ensuring that the offenders are legally punished at the right time. Thus, I've effectively grown to become a law student with the vision of making sure justice is well preserved and upheld at all times. There are many qualities and special skills that I have acquired effectively through this practicum. I'm looking forward to applying my knowledge when I become a part of the legal field to establish as a proficient lawyer. This will be put into good use during my practice as a lawyer in future. This has changed me to become an extrovert and this is an important asset of a lawyer. The improvement I have obtained in my communicative skills will come useful in future where I would have to communicate efficiently with clients and during the trial process at court. Analytical skills will be required in future where lawyers will be facing various legal issues where I will be able to assess and analyze the issues and provisions of a case adequately. Perseverance is a quality that will help me endure all the tasks and workload that a lawyer faces without any problems and also allow me to complete all those tasks effortlessly. As my practical experience made me master the skill of formal writing, this will help me in future where I may be facing tasks of drafting legal documents or involving in legal opinion writing. Finally, I solemnly hope to preserve justice as I have learned to make sure that every individual is delivered with proper justice at the right time without any delay.